What does unlisted mean on YouTube? Okay, it's a pretty basic question. You're gonna learn the answer to that in this video, but you're also gonna learn the pros and cons of uploading a video as unlisted naturally or going public or private. You really wanna understand the ins and outs of this so that you can get the best results on your channel. So I'm here with Nate today and obviously I want to answer that really basic question of what does unlisted mean on YouTube, but I'm also curious to know like what's what's the purpose of that setting and why you would want to have a video unlisted on YouTube. Uh, is there a way to share those videos? Is it possible for somebody to see uh, to see a video that is unlisted? And Nate chose this title, so Nate, why are we even talking about this? Well, yeah, it's, it's a wonderful setting. I mean, you can have public videos, you can have unlisted, you can have private. And the first thing to know is whenever you upload a video to YouTube, you don't want it to go public right then. That's actually gonna hurt you if it does. So you want it to go unlisted or private. They're pretty similar and I can explain the differences. But the reason you want them to, to not go public in the beginning is there's a lot of things you gotta do to prepare your video so that it's ready to go live. Once it goes live, you're off to the races. You've gotta have a custom thumbnail in there you want to make sure your title is right. You want to make sure that YouTube has had a, enough time to transcribe your video so that it knows what your video is about and knows who the audience is. You got to have your description ready. So those are some of the reasons why you don't want it to go public first. So what are uh, basic question here, but what is the difference between unlisted and private on the, on the setting? So private means you need to have login access to the channel to be able to view it or uh, that you've given someone else permission with a password that they can view it. So no one can view it unless they have permission. Unlisted means anyone can view it if they have the link. It's still not indexed, so if people go to your channel and they search for it, they're not going to find it if it's unlisted. Those only show public videos, or if people do a search, it's not found in search yet, it's not indexed. So both of them are not public, but, but that's the difference. Yeah, and the link of a YouTube video is you know, 10, 12, 15 characters long and it's all random. Like there's no way that somebody's going to guess that and stumble upon an, uh, an unlisted video, right? Right. But it, it is handy if there's a video that I, I don't mean for the public, but I, I want to upload to YouTube and I want to send it over to you. I could send it as, as unlisted. I send you the link. You could watch it without password and that's just fine. Sometimes there might be a video on your channel that's gone public, but you look back at it and you're kind of embarrassed. It's one of those videos from the past and it's like, just take it to unlisted, don't delete it. You know, maybe just take it to unlisted so you still have, have a record of it. That's another reason what I, what I use unlisted videos for. So can you, you talked about having these ducks in a row of the custom thumbnail ready to go and of having your description and, and those sorts of things. Um, is it possible to have your video unlisted and to schedule it to go public at a certain time? Yeah, it's a real nice setting built right into YouTube that when your video is private and you have a specific date and time in mind that you want it to go public, um, you can set that exact date and minute that you want it to go live. And that becomes handy because if you want it to go live in the morning, but you've got plans that morning, you don't have to be sitting by your computer to be able to do that. And is there, there are settings within the YouTube studio that, that will give you the like better information on when it's best for your videos to go public, right? Yeah. So in general, you can, you can pretty much predict that wherever your audience is when it's morning for them, then have it go public that morning. But then over time, as you get more and more data, just like you said, you'll see what, what range of hours during the day you're getting the most views and what days of the week. So a lot of my channels, we launch Monday through Friday, and that's what we find out is best. Uh, other channels, we find out, you know, Sunday's a really good day. And so even though we typically don't work or we don't film on Sunday, my, my editors, my launch team, they don't work on Sunday. But we can, on Friday, we can set up, hey, have this video go live Sunday morning at 6 a.m. So when following your strategy and filming 20 episodes at a time, um, are you able to, you, you're able to upload a bunch to YouTube, right? And then schedule them out in advance, right? It's, it's a good point. I kind of take that for granted because you only want to launch one episode per day. And if you're filming in bulk, editing in bulk, and you go and upload five right now, yeah, you want to make sure that you upload it as private or unlisted so it's not ready yet. The algorithm hasn't started to, to analyze any of it yet. And then when you schedule it, like we've talked about, you'll, you'll stagger it. You know, this one's Monday, this one's Tuesday, this one's Wednesday. 
You mentioned earlier that you want there to be enough time for YouTube to transcribe the episode. So what, what kind of time frame do you want to have the video unlisted before you set it to go public? Yeah, it can, it can vary. And I don't know what makes the, the variable if it's the video itself, but sometimes it can be as quick as like 30 minutes or an hour. Sometimes it can take 12 or 24 hours. When we film in bulk, we have a lot of videos. We try and get videos uploaded to YouTube fully ready, complete, several days in advance. That way, in most cases, the video is transcribed. And, and the reason that's even important, the reason we're talking about the transcription and why you want that to happen before the video goes public is that's way more important than the keywords tag. You could leave the keywords filled blank because YouTube ignores that now. They've even admitted, yeah, it's pretty much useless. YouTube knows what your video is about because it transcribes your video and all the words that you say, those become the keywords for the video. Wow. So the keywords thing doesn't even matter. Why do, why do they keep it on there? Do we, do we know? Well, if a video goes live to the public and it hasn't been transcribed yet, then it matters for those few moments. Oh, interesting. So you're covering a really basic topic today, but you, you have a lot more information that goes into some really, really valuable information about how to grow your YouTube channel. Where do you think that, where would be best for people to go next? Yeah, well, I actually recommend another episode and I'll try and link to it over here somewhere. It's how to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube in a single day. In that episode, I really share my complete strategy. So if you're really looking to, to know how to get the best results on YouTube for lead generation for your business, go watch that episode next.